What's going on, everybody? So the Golden State Warriors has tied this, tied the whole series up with the OKC Thunder. Um, pretty much, the game started off very, very um, in favor of the OKC Thunder. Even though it was like the Warriors were making runs and it was like, okay, what, what we're gonna do next? What we're gonna do next? They were able to keep up. Durant made key plays, but again, the turnovers are ridiculous for OKC, man. It, they're not going to be able to beat the Warriors. Like I said, I didn't expect this to be an easy series for the Warriors. But I just think that OKC's turnovers is going to ultimately be what causes the problem, bro. Like, people don't understand. I'm not knocking Kevin Durant. I know he, what is he, like 6'11", with, with a handle, all that stuff. I understand that. But it doesn't give you the excuse to have so many turnovers, bro. It's ridiculous. You can't do that. That just can't happen. And those are key points in the game where you can put points on the board because we all know when the Warriors start going they go it, it's a wrap like they, they they put at the end of the half they what did, what did they do they went up by eight when the game was tied like it's and that damn what was it um Iguodala's little spin move thing with the N one that was all I really got from the game that I that I kept that, that was an unbelievable N one I don't know how he put that kind of twist on the ball uh to make that shot but that was great you know Curry had 28 points um Clay Thompson did what he had to do. Draymond Green, you know, he was, you know, giving dudes ice grills, doing whatever he had to do. Uh, it was a very, very good game. I really, really enjoyed this series, bro, so far. I really, really started uh, to really embrace the fact that these are two quality teams that are playing. And I think that it's a much more exciting series than it would have been with the Spurs. But um, like I said, the OKC Thunder, they have, they, they have the tools to beat Golden State, but they can't make errors. They, they can't. Those turnovers are so critical, bro, and it happens every game it, it, at random times. Yo, you'll see Durant going down there. He looked mad lanky, dribbling the ball, then somebody come behind you steal it. Like, it looks so damn easy. Maybe they should figure out a way to just give him the ball and let him just shoot it because he, he's on point. He made a lot of key shots, and it made me nervous when he made that shot uh, right before the end of the second, uh, you know, uh, what was it, the end of the second quarter where he was smiling. I was like, God damn, because he's feeling himself. That's dangerous when a guy like that gets hot, but... At the end of the day, it's the Golden State Warriors that was smiling, bro. You got blown out, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, pretty much, I expected the Golden State Warriors to bounce back, like I said in my previous recap. I expected this. But the reasoning behind why I keep saying this stuff about OKC, turnovers, bro. The turnovers are the problem. It has to stop. It just, you, you can't do that against a team like the Warriors where they're always pushing. They're shooting threes when you standing right in their face, no matter where you are. Bro, from the half court, you cannot turn the damn ball over. And it's as simple as that. You guys can argue about, oh yeah, yo, bro, you don't know anything about basketball. Okay, I know enough that I usually pick the team that's gonna win. You know, very rarely do I not pick the team that's gonna win. And I told you guys, Golden State Warriors are gonna win this series, but I didn't go as hard because OKC impressed me by coming back and beating the Spurs. But you're not going to win against good teams if you continuously turn the ball over. Every goddamn game is the same thing. You see Kevin Durant, he, he's like a monkey with his long ass arms. He's coming down, you know, he's dribbling the ball. He got a little bit of handle. Somebody comes behind a freaking little person, you know, like a, a Steph Curry and just steals the ball and runs back down the field. Like, what the hell is that, bro? It's the same thing. You guys can say whatever you want, but just go back and look at the game footage. It's the same thing every game. How do you expect to beat the Golden State Warriors with those kind of turnovers? Not going to happen. The good thing about it is it's split 1-1. OKC should win win game three. I'm, I'm guessing if they don't, I don't know what to say about it. It's pretty much going to be over faster than I thought it was going to be over then. But I, I give them the edge because OKC has a really, really good home crowd. So I give them the edge to win game three. Let's see what happens. Until next time, one love.